And you know, it doesn't help when we have these really cold temperatures and it gets warm and back and forth and back and forth. And it certainly keeps you busy, Anthony Copeland. <laughs> Yeah, the up and down temperatures, you can't really just get into uh, too used to things around uh, Northeast Ohio when it comes to the up and down temperatures and the fake, I guess, uh, early spring we've been having. We experienced some of the mildest air so far this year, although it was only 25 days deep. We experienced temperatures in the lower 50s over the past 24 hours. Right now, the main headline has been a dense fog from West Lake. Visibility is reduced less than two miles. Things are looking good from Ken. Things are looking good also from Akron. Uh, not too bad from Cleveland right now, but again, uh, the National Weather Service has canceled uh, the dense fog advisory for this evening, so things are should be improving, but we got another round of rainfall to talk about. Well, this all that front has been draped across much of northern Ohio, so we're on the warm side of this. Until we see the breakdown of this current pattern, we're going to continue to see the uh, chances of dense fog. The, the elevated saturation we have in the atmosphere is what's causing the dense fog, the warmer temperatures, and around the rainfall. And definitely we're on the warmer side of this front. Mid 40s right now, lower 60s down in the south in Louisville. We're looking at some upper 30s Chicago. That pocket of cool air will eventually be arriving here for this weekend. Currently, we're tracking quiet conditions on radar, but down to the south, we got rainfall to talk about that's going to be arriving here as we approach 6 and 7 o'clock. Here it is, a shield of heavy rainfall that's going to be heavy uh, at times approaching your dinner time hour around 7 and 8 o'clock. Here it is at midnight. We're going to see the last of it, but still looking at steadier bands of rain with temperatures hanging out in the mid to lower 40s. Then temperatures will be falling throughout the day for your Friday as we take a look at your national design market forecast. How much rainfall we're talking about? We could see upwards to a half an inch in many locations. Some isolated pocket seeds could see upwards to an inch, maybe getting close to the inch and a quarter before we wrap up your uh, Friday morning. Friday afternoon, falling temperatures. We start off in the upper 40s, then temperatures eventually cool into the lower 40s, but it's going to feel like the upper 30s through most of the day with cloudy skies overcast for your Friday. Let's talk about your Saturday and Sundays. Not too early start thinking about those weekend plans. Unfortunately, the return of winter is going to be knocking on our doorsteps for Saturday and Sunday with our next cold front that's going to be arriving. Mostly cloudy skies for your Saturday, then late Saturday night into early Sunday. Our next storm system will be arriving. We're going to be tracking this by the time we're waking up for early Saturday morning. Uh, it's going to be uh, arriving here just as mainly as rain with temperatures comfortably above the freezing mark. Then by Sunday, as cold air tries to work in, with the tracking of this low pressure system, it could catch up with some of this rainfall, but I'm thinking most of what we're going to be seeing is going to be pushing offshore. Then we're just going to be tracking maybe some lake effect or lake enhanced rain and snow ch chances for your Monday. Then by Tuesday, we're going to be tracking another clipper system. Well, much cooler air is going to be punching in, but it's going to, not going to be long standing like we experienced for last week. Now, going throughout the next seven days or so, our GFS computer model is really aggressive with this weekend snow chances and also for Tuesday with that clipper system that's going to be working in. We could see upwards to maybe uh, this, uh, this contour is at least saying maybe two to four inches of snow throughout the next seven days or so. And our European computer model is not all that aggressive going throughout the next seven days for the Buckeye State, especially across Northeast Ohio. So pretty comfortable, but pretty manageable and seasonable as we head throughout the next seven days or so with your Union Home Mortgage seven day forecast that overnight chance of rain really after midnight Saturday into early Sunday. Then we've got to closely watch Watch those temperatures, but I think we remain comfortably above the freezing mark with that weekend event with just some wet snowflakes working in, maybe some lake effect, rain and snow chances for Monday. Then Tuesday, more lake, more light snow with temperatures still above the freezing mark. We'll call it wet snowflakes for now, but no major impactful snow, at least for the next seven days or so, with up and down temperatures, unfortunately. Yeah, oh man, a little it's, bit of a roller coaster. It's truly been everywhere. It's like I don't know if I should wear my rain gear out, my snow boots out, if I'm gonna need my car brush. It's, yeah, it's all over the place. My yeah. closet is a mess right now. <laughs> you don't know where to pull from. Okay, I'm glad I'm not alone. You're, then, not, you're not alone. She's not alone. It's a fashion crisis. Uh, don't know what to do. <laughs> Anthony, thank you.